got no political views, none whatsoever really. If anything, I veer towards anarchy, probably from the days of listening to punk music and being slightly involved in the punk scene. Is that because I was brainwashed, mind cleansed, sorry. <laughs> Is that because I was mind cleansed from an early age by the Watchtower? I don't know. It was a bit strange when I first went to a church and they had a broadcast from the Cenotaph in London. You know, the kind of political things. It was very unusual. I didn't get it at all, but what I had noticed there wasn't really a political side in any of the churches I've been to. They tend to more pray for the politicians to make right decisions rather than to pray for a particular party. So, from that standpoint, I know now that Jehovah's Witnesses are totally wrong. Jehovah's Witnesses, the rank and file, that's their name, not mine, the rank and file have been misled by the Watchtower. They've been told what to think about the churches and about politics. They've been told what to think by the writing committee, the seven paedophile protecting men in Brooklyn who won't admit they're wrong, who won't admit that they're paedophile protecting, who won't do anything unless it's going to cost them money to protect paedophiles, uh, protect the victims of paedophiles. The Jehovah's Witnesses rank and file have been lied to. And I didn't think I'd been lied to, I thought it was the truth and that, that opened my eyes open my eyes to the other side that I knew things that nobody else knew but then isn't that how it feels in a pyramid system in a pyramid organisation in a pyramid business well that's all the watchtower is it's just a big business it's not religious there's no spirituality there it's all money for the men in Brooklyn have you seen how they live? oh yeah you say oh it's pretty modest Consider this, I worry about bills each month. You worry about bills each month. What do the members of the governing body worry about? Nothing. They live a life without bills. Everything's paid for them. Oh, who's paying for it? Oh, you are. And I did while I was in. My clarion call to you, withhold your money. Even if you're trapped in the organisation, if you're trapped in it for family, and you don't feel that you're able to get out, that's your personal choice. But may I ask, do not put anything in any contribution boxes. Do not give the governing body in Brooklyn a free ride. Make sure that your cash is spent on yourself and those you'll have not given into the coffers of a greedy business that pretends to be a religion. They're actually a lot worse than the religions that they claim are evil. You know, when I was going to the Baptist church, and I still go back there from time to time, they did charitable works. They collected money. They sent missionaries to areas where Jehovah's Witnesses dared not go. Yeah, that's right. Not just to convert people to Christianity, but genuinely to help those who need help. Yeah, think about that governing body. What are you doing? Nothing, because you're cowards. You're just chief executives of a big multinational company and you want your power because you're idiots you're the kind of fools you'd never get that kind of power in any other business because you're adults your pineapple brains your mush heads <laughs> but somehow you loonies have taken over the asylum can you hear that traffic? Can you hear that? Whee! Oh, you 
shine on your back, mate. Slow down, you move too fast. Wanna make the evening last? Big it did did stick it in your ear holes. Yeah, they're just ordinary people going about their ordinary business. In their cars. Oh all the watchtowers in the world. All that printing, all the hours that Jehovah's Witnesses put in. I'm not going to make a blimey the difference. These people will still grow old and die. Armageddon isn't coming. It's just a big story. It's a big fairy tale. I gave up fairy tales when I was a kid, unfortunately. Having been raised in the cult, I've suffered extensive mind cleansing. What do I think now? Well, that's really very difficult. When I first came out of the Borg, I went to a church and I was shocked at how genuine those people were. Now where am I? I'm kind of in a no man's land. A traditional Borg thinking would probably say that, oh, he's not got Jehovah anymore. Well, that's a complete fallacy. I'm just dealing with the reality of life now. I'm not wearing those rose-coloured watchtower spectacles. <laughs> Boy racer. Not wearing those rose-coloured watchtower spectacles anymore. I'm dealing with reality. And it's a new experience for me. I've dealt with reality before, but I'd always kind of thought, oh, well, the way to Jehovah, he will vacuum everything up. That's a complete lad of old conkers. Jehovah's Witnesses, if you're listening to me, the best thing you can ever do is escape that dirty cult that you're in. Because they, they only want your money. They only want your dosh. And they want power over you. Get away from them. And don't just check governing body things by governing body approved sources. That's their own platform. That's them telling you what to think. Check it out. Check out the truth. The internet. Anywhere, but check it out. Not by their sources, by yours. Do your independent research.